Today we are talking about a set of instructions that Dr. Joseph Murphy put together to help us to receive guidance from our subconscious mind in different situations. It doesn't really matter what you're going through. Whenever you need guidance, you can do this. Whether you are not really sure of what you want or you want to figure out what kind of limiting beliefs you still have in your subconscious mind. Or maybe you want to open yourself up to inspired actions or you are overthinking. In any situation, you can do this and that's what we are talking about today. But before I get into it, hello everyone. If you're new here, my name is Al. Welcome to my channel. And now let's get into today's topic. Thinking constructively about your desire is one of the most important things as a conscious creator. There are a couple of things that I have really taken to heart from the book, The Power of Your Subconscious Mind. And I made a rule for myself. One thing is never finish a negative thought. In a weird way, sometimes we enjoy thinking negatively about our desire. But what we have to understand is that it's a habit and we have to break the habit. So when you stop yourself, from going down that rabbit hole, you are one step closer of creating a new habit, thinking positively about yourself and others and whatever you desire, okay? The second thing is that when you are fearful and worried about your desire, you are not really thinking because the thought or thinking is free of fear. This is uh, more or less a quote from Dr. Joseph Murphy. Okay, so when you think about it, what can you take from, from that quote? That you are either leading and choosing your thoughts and what you want to experience in, in your mind, or you are following your thoughts or your fears or your insecurities and you are not in control. You are settling for all of those things that you don't want to experience. Dr. Murphy put together a set of steps that we can do to achieve that guidance of our subconscious mind. And the first step is to calm your mind and still your body. You can do whatever works for you in terms of relaxing, okay? In my situation, I love meditating or doing square breathing, for example, but I also sometimes count down from 200 or 100 to zero. When you are counting down, the most important thing is not that you are thinking about relaxing your body or anything. You just focus on the numbers. Okay, you focus on what you are doing in that moment and your breathing. And the relaxation of your body is going to happen naturally because you are not thinking about the stress that you have in your daily life or anything that is stopping you from achieving your goals. You are just there focusing on what you are doing. The second step is to mobilize your attention. So basically what it means is something that we all do when we are manifesting and it is to create a scene that implies the fulfillment of your desire, whatever you are desiring right now. If you want to open up your intuition or you want to stop overthinking or you want to stop being insecure, okay, you want the guidance of your subconscious mind if what you are doing is enough or, you know, whenever, sometimes we overthink, right? So you can use this in many ways. Imagine you are having a conversation with someone that you talk about manifestation and you tell them, and if you don't have anyone, then imagine you are talking to me, okay? And then you tell that person, suddenly I knew exactly what I had to do to get me where I wanted to be. And guess what? That led me straight there. Even though right now you probably don't know what you really want to imagine or what you really want, but 
When you create a scene like that, you are opening yourself up to the instructions of the subconscious mind. You can also do this to kind of release resistance, right? You can say, suddenly I was not thinking about my desire anymore. And it was so easy for me to just go with the flow. And at some point, I was exactly what I had to be to achieve what I wanted. It happened so quickly in the faultless and I loved it. Something like that, very simple, but that implies the fulfillment of your desire. The next step is to go to sleep. So that's what he said. After you do that, go to sleep. And when you wake up, you probably already have the answer. You dreamt about it or you wake up with that idea. Oh, this is what I have to do. Or you just release completely any thought, any resistance, any expectation, and you go about your day doing your thing, knowing that at some point your subconscious mind is going to give you an idea of what you have to do to achieve what you want. It's very important that you follow this step. Okay, I have done this a few times and even when I had no idea about manifestation and it always worked for me, it is very, very simple. You just have to completely think, I, you know, it's done, it's going to come to me. It's like when you order something online and you know you're going to receive it and you're not thinking about it all the time, basically that's what it is. Trust your subconscious mind. Tell yourself, I can go about my day and do whatever I have to do and the idea is going to come to me. And you open yourself up to inspired actions, to whatever happens in your 3D, you just go with it. You listen to your intuitions and you are comfortable with it. Be open to whatever happens. Release any judgment that you have and go with the flow. Allow yourself to be guided by your subconscious mind, by your higher self, by, you know, whatever you want to call it. Allow it to guide you. That's it from me. Thank you so much for being here and we are going to talk soon. Bye guys.